Dr. Wick, you referred to novel national socialist measures introduced, among them sexual sterilization. Are you aware that sexual sterilization was not invented by national socialism, but had been advanced for years before as a weapon in dealing with the mentally incompetent and the criminal? Yes, I am aware of that. Are you aware that it has advocates among leading citizens in many other countries? I am not an expert on such laws. Then permit me to read one to you. This is a High Court opinion upholding such laws in existence in another country. And I quote, We have seen more than once that a public welfare may call upon the best citizens for their lives. It would be strange, indeed, if it could not call upon those who already sapped the strength of the state for these lesser sacrifices in order to prevent our being swamped by incompetence. It is better for all the world if, instead of waiting to execute degenerate offsprings for crime or to let them starve for their imbecility, society can prevent their propagation by medical means in the first place. Three generations of imbeciles are enough. You recognize it now, Dr. Wieck? No, sir, I don't. Actually, there is no particular reason you should, since the opinion upholds the sterilization law in the state of Virginia of the United States, and was written and delivered by that great American jurist, Supreme Court Justice Oliver Wendell Holmes.